All right, this is the second part of this lesson, and uh, we were looking at an example before of whether or not the point 6-2 lay on the line, or was on the line, y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. Now, what we did before is we have to determine what's on the left-hand side of the equation, and up here, it's y again. Now, from our ordered pair, y is equal to 2, because it's the second coordinate in the ordered pair. The right-hand side of the equation is uh, 2 thirds x minus 2. Now, just as before, we have to sub in for x, and from our ordered pair, our x coordinate is 6. So we're going to sub that in for x. And when we do this, we end up with 2 thirds time, times 6 minus 2. Now recall that to multiply fractions, this is a whole number, so you can think of this as 6 over 1, we can simplify here. So 3 goes into itself one time, and into 6 two times. So this simplifies to be 2 times 2. Once again, 3 goes into itself one time, and into 6 two times. So that leaves us with 2 over 1, which is 2. So we end up with 2 times 2 minus 2. And that simplifies to be 4 minus 2, which is 2. So since our left side is equal to our right side, and make sure you show all your work just like this on your um, all assignments and tests, that the left side equals the right side, so the coordinate 6, 2 satisfy the equation. So that means that 6, 2 is a point on the line 2 thirds x minus 2. So now going back to our graph of y equals 2 thirds x minus 2, we have to determine whether the point 6, 2 is on this line. And so our x coordinate is 6, so we go over to 6, and we go up to 2, and we find that the point B is on the, is on the line y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. So as we found before, this point does fall on the line. All right, let's take a look at one more example. And we want to know if that point 4, 1 lies on the line y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. Just as before, we identify that on the left-hand side of our equation, we have y. And from our coordinate, the y is equal to 1. And on the right-hand side of our equation, we have 2 thirds x minus 2. And our x coordinate here is 4, so we're going to sub that in for x. Now we end up with 2 thirds times 4. And if you recall, we can think of 4 as 4 over 1. So all we have to do is multiply 4 by our numerator which is 8, which will be 8, and keep the denominator, because recall that if this is 4 over 1, 3 times 1 is 3. So we end up with 8 over 3 minus 2. So 2 thirds times 4 is 8 thirds. Now, what we have to do is we're going to write our 2 as 2 over 1. And remember, to subtract fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So that means we have to express the fraction 2 over 1 with a denominator of 3. And this will be our lowest common denominator, is 3. So what we're going to have to do is multiply the denominator by 3. That means we have to multiply the numerator by 3 in the 2 over 1. So we get 6 over 3. And 2 over 1 and 6 over 3 are equivalent fractions. So now we can subtract these two fractions, and we just subtract the numerators and keep the denominators. So the answer is 2 over 3. Now, what you have to keep in mind, again, is that our left side is 1, our right side is 2 thirds. So that means that since the left side doesn't equal the right side, the point is not on this line. Now going back and taking a look at this on our graph of y equals 2 thirds x minus 2, we have to plot the point 4, 1 to see where it lies. And when we do this, we find we go over 4 and up 1. And so you'll note that the line, the point 4, 1 just is above the line y equals 2 thirds x minus 2.